Well, nature never fails to amaze. And this morning, we're going to tell you about an unusual method of reproduction as we head to the outdoors. Here's Terry Belke. Of all nature's fascinating processes, reproduction may be its crowning achievement, and parthenogenesis is perhaps the most unusual and unique form. Translated from its Greek roots, it literally means virgin creation, and it's just that, reproduction without fertilization. Parthenogenesis is when reproduction occurs without a mate. So there's no fertilization of the egg from a sperm, but the egg is still fertile and the viable egg still develops into an in embryo that develops into an offspring. This is a natural form of asexual reproduction. Parthenogenesis occurs in animals, insects, and some plants. It's known to occur in some species of lizards, snakes, insects, some honeybees. There's a breed of a domestic turkey it's been seen in, a shark. It may be more widespread than we know, um, but there's, it, it's not too common of an occurrence. The positive to this is that a species can continue in the absence of males, but there's a genetic negative as well. In the sense of evolution and adaptability, it can be negative because there's no gene diversity if all you're doing is copying or having one copy of the female's chromosomes. With some species like the whiptail lizard, only females are produced. In the Komodo dragon, which can reproduce both sexually and asexually, the opposite is true. When the Komodo dragon produces through parthenogenesis, only males are produced. It's just another example of the planet's infinite capacity to amaze. Mother Nature isn't always kind, so if a species can figure out a way around um, being isolated, for instance, um, and still being able to reproduce, it's, it's an incredible um, example of adaptation. Taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.